Hi there, I'm Samaria Light Kaufman, and I am the original Sunrise Program Mom. And today I want to talk to you about a very dear subject in most of your lives, okay? Besides the thousands of, of, of parents that I've spoken to over the last 40 years who come to us to learn the Sunrise Program and how to be effective and learn about and help their children on the autism spectrum, there's another subject that actually seems to be just as compelling to parents, which is the other child, the other uh, children that are perhaps not getting as much attention as that child that's on the autism spectrum. And the guilt that the parents carry because of that. So needless to say, I ask them, well, what are you guilty for? Well, I can't really, I can't really give them the same amount of time. This, this other child is very demanding and I, I, you know, and if I want to have any personal impact, that's time consuming. And I say, I ask them, well, how do you think your, the sibling of that child feels? And they say, oh, I know how that child feels. So I ask them a very important question. How do you know how they feel? And they say, oh, they tell me. So I said, give me an example. And this is what I hear all the time. My child says to me, um, Oh, you love him more than you love me. And I laugh. And this actually happened. This is a story that actually a parent told me. Uh, and I laughed and she said, that's not funny. <laughs> so I said, Let, she happened to come and have her daughter, who was the one sibling, um, be short distance away. So I said, why don't I do a dialogue with her? And I did. And um, to make a long story short, halfway through the dialogue, this little girl who was about seven or eight said to me, and you know what? You know what I do sometimes? So I go, no, what? And she said, well, sometimes when I really want something and I don't think my mommy's gonna give it to me, I say to her, you love him more than you love me. I go, really? How come you do that? And she looks at me like, well, you know, how come, how could you not know? Are you stupid or something? <laughs> and she said, uh, that's what you do. I said, what do you mean? And she said, if you want something, that's, how, that's what you have to do. I said, so you mean you do that every time? She goes, oh yeah. I said, does it work every time? Every time. <laughs> I'm telling you this because this is very common when the children talk to me. They, from every age, two years old on, they know exactly what they're doing because they're trying to learn about how do I get what I want from my parents. And by the whining, the crying, the acting of unhappiness, is their job to figure out what, they're, what they have to do to get what they want. Now your job is to figure out how can you be happy even if they accuse you of something which you know isn't true. You love that child just as much as the other child. If you buy into what they say, you are reinforcing them doing it over and over again because it works. Not because they're bad or wrong, but because it works and that's not something you need to do. You can say, like when I used to say to my kids, nice try. <laughs> and it will, in, in literally two times it'll take and they'll stop doing that. Trust me. Come and we'll teach you some more. <laughs> Siblings, you do not have to be, feel guilty about giving this time to this child then on the autism spectrum. The other child really understands it. They understand. See ya.